Hi, and greetings from Minnesota. I'm John Gross. The biggest sports story here the past week was the return of NBA player Kevin Garnett to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Last night, Target Center was filled to the brim, sold out because of Kevin. He started the game and he scored five points. Kevin is 39 years old. And I was lucky enough to cover Kevin when he was in his prime. I remember in 2004, I was on the court shooting this. It was Kevin Garnett when he was handed Best Player of the Year, the trophy in the NBA. When I think of Kevin, I think of a practice down in San Antonio before a playoff game. There were 20 or 30 photographers and reporters, and we ran over to get the best spot. And I remember getting down on my knees, and I couldn't believe it. It was like cement. And I've got really bad knees because of shooting for NFL films for so long. It was the worst 10 minutes of my life. Kevin was great, but my knees were awful. <laughs> Interview got over. I lifted up the camera, and I put it down. And I tried to get up, and I couldn't move. I, I pushed on my knee, and that didn't help. And all of a sudden... <laughs> There was a hand that reached out. It was Kevin Garnett's hand. He said, hey, big fella, need a lift? And he lifted me up off the floor. And there's a practice I'll never forget before a playoff game. This one was in Minneapolis at Target Center. I was with reporter Ed K. Rowe, and I couldn't believe it. It was 15 minutes that we could watch practice, and Kevin was giving everything that he had. He was, he was running as fast as he could down the court and then back the court, yelling at teammates. Ed did the interview, and, and Kevin was walking off. I say, hey, Kevin, can I ask you a question? And he turned back, and I said, Kevin, why'd you practice so hard? It's just practice. <laughs> he didn't think it was funny. He just stood there, and he said, hey, if you don't practice that hard, you're just cheating yourself. Ah, talk about spirit. Talk about energy. That's Kevin Garnett. And there was another athlete that I covered that was very similar as far as attitude goes, but very soft-spoken. His name is Jim Abbott. Jim Abbott was born in Flint, Michigan. He was born with, with only a left hand. But his mom and dad never held him back from sports. He started in, in baseball, and he was the starter for the football team with only one hand. And then he went to the very top. Jim competed in the Olympics, and not only competed, but won MVP of the Olympics, a gold medal, and came back. And I was able to interview Jim. And it was a couple weeks after the Olympics, and it was a very small room we were doing the interview in, and I looked at him and I said, Jimmy, was, did anybody ever make a difference in your life? Did anybody ever say something that made a big difference? He says, yeah, my mom. My mom told me when I was just a little kid, Jimmy, if you have to do something anyway, give it all you've got. And when he said that, there was a vein that stuck out of his neck. If you have to do something anyway, give it all you got, one hand or not. He's an unbelievable story. Jim Abbott not only played baseball, but he won the Sullivan Award as best amateur athlete, won the Olympic gold medal, and then he was drafted in pro baseball by the California Angels. And the highlight of his career was when he pitched for the New York Yankees. Jim Abbott, with one hand, pitched a no-hitter. And now he's a motivational speaker and an idol, believe me. If you have to do something anyway, give it all you've got. And like Kevin Garnett says, don't give up. Try your hardest. Great advice. Thanks for watching today. I'm John Gross.